I'm not sure whether it is just me or you know, do you guys think about it this way or so, but I do find that the description of this question for part one is uncomfortably ambiguous. But I guess what they are trying to say when they say that the difference between the death rate and the birth rate of the population is 3% means that every year the population decreased by 3%. And this is the rate of change of P, which means that every year, dp dt, the rate of change of P is going to be reduced by 3%, so negative 0.03 P. And in part two, we are supposed to solve this differential equation and I'm going to divide P over to the other side. So I have a one over P and we have a dp dt. This is equal to negative 0.03. Integrating both left and right hand side with respect to T, it will be integration of one over P dp. This is negative 0.03 integration of one dt. On the left hand side it is going to be ln modulus of p and on the right hand side is negative 0.03 t plus an arbitrary constant. I'm going to go for a. So modulus of p this is equal to e to, to the power of negative 0.03 t plus a which I can also write it as e to the power of a e to the power of negative 0.03 t. And since P is the population of the ship, so it is always going to be positive. So I can just simply write it as P is equal to e to the power of A, e to the power of negative 0.03 T, which I can also simplify this as a arbitrary constant that is going to be represented by another alphabet B. So negative 0.03 T, where B here represents e to the power of A. And the question continues to ask what? explain what happens to the number of sheep if this condition continues over many years. Many years is an indication when t is going to go to infinity. So when t goes to infinity, looking at this expression that we have here, when t goes to infinity, that means this entire expression e to the power of negative 0.03t is going to become 0, which means that p is going to become 0. That is why if the situation continues over many years, the number of sheep will go to zero. And in part three, we have a new situation. Although this remain, but the scientists, they will be importing a constant n number of sheep per year, which means that the new rate of change for the population of the number of sheep, it is going to be n. Every year, it is going to increase by a constant n. And since this is continuing, so minus 0.03, P is going to form for us the expression for the new dp dt. And in part 4, let's solve for this differential equation. And I'm going to divide this entire expression here over to the other side. That will be 1 over n minus 0.03p. And this is going to be dp dt is equal to 1. Integrating once again left and right hand side with respect to t, we will have a 1 over n minus 0.03p dp. This is integration of 1 dt. And this, it is going to be 1 over negative 0.03 ln of modulus of n minus 0.03p is equal to t plus another arbitrary constant. Let's go for c since we have went for a and b previously. So plus c. And multiplying this across, we will have a ln modulus of n minus 0.03p. This is going to be negative 0.03t, negative 0.03 times c. Removing the ln on the left hand side, it will be modulus of n minus 0.03p is equal to e to the power of this, which I can also rewrite it as negative e, e to the power of negative 0.03. 03c e to the power of negative 0.03t removing the modulus n minus 0.03p is equal to this time i'm going to go for plus or minus because we are not very sure whether n is larger than this so this will be e to the power of negative 0.03c e to the power of negative 0.03t let's make p the subject 
So bring P over to the right hand side, 0.03 P, this will be, mm, this will be N plus or minus e to the power of negative 0.03 c e to the power of negative 0.03 t and dividing 0.03 across we will have p to be equal to 100 over 3 n plus or minus 100 over 3 e to the power of negative 0.03 c e to the power of negative 0.03 t i'm going to now simplify this into one single arbitrary constant i'm going to go for d e to the power of negative 0.03 t where d here represents plus or minus 100 over 3 e to the power of negative 0.03 c the question says after many years that means once again we are talking about the scenario when t tends to infinity Looking at this expression, when t tends to infinity, this is going to become 0, which means that p is going to tend to 100 over 3n. And according to the question, this value of p is actually equal to 500. So solving for this equation here, we will be able to get the value for n, and that is equal to 15.